Hi, Carson. So today I'm going to try to convince you to read something that I've been reading over this past week, and maybe I'll be able to talk you into trying it. So the book that I'm going to show you this week is called One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. You might have already read this because um, it was pretty popular in the YA circles for a while. It was on the New York Times bestseller list, but if the hype wasn't enough to convince you, I've got three reasons to try to convince you to read this as well. I'm going to go with your three theme because it just seems like a nice, it's a nice fitting number. Three reasons why you should read one of us's line. But first, a synopsis. This book is about four teenagers. Uh, they're high school seniors, I believe. Uh, Ronwin, Cooper, Nate, and Addie. They all end up in detention. They're also in detention with this boy named Simon. Uh, no relation to our co-worker. Simon is basically the student who's in charge of the school gossip app. Um, he's always spilling tea, as they would say, on the app. And a lot of people don't like him, but he's also never been wrong. So they're also kind of scared of him. He's kind of, you know, antagonizing the rest of the group. And then the next thing they know, they look back over at Simon. And Simon's on the floor and he's having an anaphylactic reaction. And they try to help him. They can't find an nappy pen. And then unfortunately, uh, he passes away. The police realize it's not just a tragic accident. Uh, it was actually on purpose. So the four kids in detention with them are the main suspects. Upon even more investigation, they realize that um, Simon was actually going to write a blog post about each of them. So they have to figure out, you know, who who did it to clear their names. Uh, and then there's always that uh, lingering thought in the back of their mind, like, maybe one of us did do it. So that's what the book is about, just trying to figure out who would do such a thing and why. I really enjoyed this. Uh, and here are three reasons why you should read it. Okay, so first reason, plot. Carson, I know you love murder mysteries and stuff, so I think that alone is enough to convince you, but uh, I'll just go into a little bit more detail. There's like sort of the mystery of, you know, what's this, what are the secrets? What secrets are these kids hiding? Then there's the police investigation. The police are trying to figure out, you know, who did this and they suspect it's the kids so they keep you know coming over and asking them questions there's a kids investigation uh where they're trying to figure out you know who did this just to try to clear their names and why would they do this and you know who was simon anyway and what was driving him and what was motivating him to keep up such a, a hateful app i know you love that kind of stuff so i think you should definitely check it out. The second reason that I think you should read this book is uh, the characters. So the characters all fall into one of four tropes. Cooper is the athlete, Bronwyn is the nerd, Nate is the bad boy, and Addie is, you know, the pretty girl. This was actually by design. Uh, I read into this book a little bit more and Karen Ann McManus was actually heavily inspired by The Breakfast Club, which is why she decided she wanted to kind of go off of that theme and you can also see that you know in the detention uh where they're all in detention together so it also sort of takes you know it's a life of its own it's not just breakfast club fan fiction each of the characters goes through their own you know growth arc and they become you know better people they learn more about themselves and each other and then they kind of develop sort of empathy for each other without giving anything away my personal favorite journey in the book was Addie's. I really enjoyed hearing about Addie growing from where she was at the beginning of the book to where she was at the end of the book. But they were all great. And um, if you read your own, maybe you can pick your favorite and check back with me. The third reason why I think you should read this book is because um, to kind of go off of what you were saying, uh, I think this is a good mix of sort of light and dark. It touches on a lot of sort of dark topics like, you know, murder, depression, you know, um, parental abandonment, and they're all quite sad topics, and they're given the gravity that they deserve in the text, but at the same time, uh, there's a lot of hope, and there's a lot of, you know, uh, community that develops between the characters um, as they work together to try to absolve themselves from the crime. It's really great to sort of watch this unfold, and uh, there's a lot of the ending well, I'm not going to spoil the ending, but while there is some darkness and some sadness in the book, uh, I also think that the theme, that 
you'll you won't come out feeling miserable you'll come out feeling hopeful for the characters and for their features i do think that it's a good mix of you know light and dark for, especially for this time in society so um yeah those are my three reasons but you can check this out at the library if you want i believe it's on overdrive i would highly recommend that you read this carson and um can't wait to hear your thoughts and I can't wait to hear about uh, the book that you'll select for next week. I will definitely be reading uh, Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. I'll let you know what I think. So, yeah, that's it. See you later.